it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I'm actually going to answer a question about email. I've noticed you guys are always asking me questions about email. This is one of the main things you guys ask me about. And today I received a new question that I thought you guys could all benefit from. So it says, hi, Candace. She loves the videos. And what she wants to know is she's using QuickBooks Pro 2016. She is sending out invoices to email. And she wants to be able to attach an additional thing. And right now it's not currently doing that. So the easiest way to do it, in my opinion, is when you're in here and you're creating an invoice that you want to email out, you can't really, it's not convenient to, a, to QuickBooks isn't going to, it attaches a file that's based off what it's attaching for you. So she's scanning invoices and attaching them, but QuickBooks isn't going to automatically email those. So if you pull up an invoice, this is an example invoice, and you go to email it, you can do one of two things. So what you do is you put in the email address you want to send it to. It's going to populate that inside QuickBooks. What you can do is you can actually click right here under the attachment and then find something you want to attach. Let's just find like a little Word document that I have. And then you could add a Word document and then you could add whatever you want. That's one of the easiest ways that you can do it. The other thing you can do, and then you send this, you just click send and then put your password in. The other thing you can do is you can actually save this as a PDF, you know, save your invoice as a PDF, and then in your actual email, send it out. But the most convenient is I think to send it out as an email and then attach any other files. You cannot attach what you scan directly in when you go to email it. QuickBooks isn't set up that way. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you so much for submitting your question. I love it. If you guys have questions, feel free to submit them. And if you enjoy my tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. And you can go to, I'll put the link up above on the I and in the description, you can actually go and subscribe. And every tip that I do, instead of trying to remember to find it on YouTube, I'll actually email it out to you every week. I'm getting ready to do some more workshops and I will be sending out a questionnaire to the people who getting the tips and tricks to find out what you guys want to learn from me. Have an amazing day. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.